She's all set back up into kind of desktop mode now. So we've got the four screens plugged in, we've got the, uh, all the peripheral devices, so on and so forth. And what I wanted to do first of all is to just highlight the first bug that I came across as I got to this point um, when I was first kind of going through the setting up of Area 51M. And what it is, is that I'm, I'm using uh, external keyboard and mouse. So I've got a Microsoft sort of ergonomic split key keyboard and we've got a Death Adder Razer mouse. And what I noticed was that when I was moving the mouse around, every now and again it would just suddenly kind of stop and cut out and then come back again. I mean, I'll, I'll illustrate it with a folder. As I was sort of just moving the mouse smoothly, every now and again it would just suddenly stop and then kind of carry on. Like, super annoying, right? And also, what I noticed was that when I looked at the mouse, it's got like a blue LED on it. It was basically turning off and then popping back on again. Um, so it was quite obvious to me there was something going on with the power management with the USB. And I had a look in the BIOS, but I couldn't find any settings in there that I thought would maybe help it. But what I did find as a fix, let me show you here now. If you right click on your start button there, we'll go device manager, you'll get this window pop up. Here you'll see you've got human interface devices. And if we expand that, at the top of the list there is my mouse, the death adder mouse. And so if you right click that, hit properties, power management tab, and you'll see there's this allow the computer to turn off the device to save power. And I've just unticked that. Now of course this will show something different for you, subject to what mouse you've got plugged in, and obviously if you're getting this problem. Um, but it's worth doing this uh, fix anyway. And I also did the same on these USB input devices. So again, right click, properties, power management tab, uncheck, okie dokie, and again, the same with all of those. What I also did is if you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see here you've got universal serial bus controllers. Now, let me just explain. I, I was having the same problem actually with my external hard drive, the USB hard drive, and like literally in the middle of like transferring files, it would just suddenly stop and cut out. So, you know, far from ideal. Um, and so what I went ahead and did is go through the universal serial bus controllers and literally every single one of these I've right click properties, power management and unticked it. Yeah, every single one of these as well. Uh, and since doing that, I've not had that problem at all. And so if you are having that same experience where, you know, sort of like your USB stuff seems to be cutting out momentarily, probably about every five to 10 seconds it was doing it for me. For all I know, it's something to do specifically with my setup or, or something like that. But having had a look around in forums and things, it looks like it is a problem that a lot of people have had. So I thought I'd just mention that now because for me it was like super frustrating. So, you know, if I can just save one person from going through that quick fix, restart, all good, and then it's not a problem. Now, I will mention that the trackpad itself, not a problem at all, completely unaffected. So if you're just using the built-in trackpad, then of course you're not going to even pay, perhaps even know that problem exists. But if you're having any issues with the USB cutting out momentarily, that's the fix for it. So I thought I'd give you the heads up on that. Please like, share and subscribe.